Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to do a mission with the F-15. I'm going to show you pretty much how to use this thing. Uh, I'm writing the controls on the bottom of the screen. So if you picked up the F-15 with your GS FC3 code, uh, I'm going to show you pretty much how to use this thing. So you can see uh, we have the engine starting up. Again, use the binds on the bottom of the screen. Uh, you can hear the engine spooling up. You see this, percent RPM, this is the right engine is starting up. And it's going to automatically start engine 2. This is FC3. These are very capable aircraft that are actually pretty good for newcomers. Uh, they're much more simplistic to use. Uh, you can't click anything in the cockpit, for example. But you can bind everything to your HOTAS. And it's a great way to, you know, learn DCS without overwhelming yourself with controls. You can see engine 1 is up, it's at uh, 65 RPM, 65% RPM. Uh, second engine will start up momentarily. We're going to turn on our navigation lights. Those little lights on the wingtips there. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and close the canopy. There we go. That'll block out some of the sound. And then if we look over at engine 2, or left engine, you'll see percent RPM increasing. And once that's fully up to 65%, we can start taxiing out. Uh, we got a base defense mission here today. You can download this from the video description. Uh, and you can try it out yourself. It is a mission that comes with DCS when you buy FC3. Uh, but I've made some modifications to it. Okay, looking good. We're going to go ahead and throttle forward a little bit. You can put flaps down here if you like. You'll see we have a... Okay, and we also have some uh, lights. I'll show you that in a second. Let me just turn in here. So you can see, watch the front, you see that light and then you can press it again and you'll get this. And then you can turn it off. I like this mode better. You can see the light out in front. Everything's looking good. It's not too dark right now, so you don't really need the light, but uh, I believe it's called a landing light. Um, but I just thought I'd show you in case you want it. Uh, you're using your rudder pedals. There's number two coming. You're using your rudder pedals to, you know, control yourself on the taxiway. Basically drive or taxi the F-15. You're going to head over here to the runway. And we're going to take off, and uh, we're going to defend this base. At least that's the plan. And keep in mind, just because this is FC3 and it's a little bit more simplistic to learn, doesn't mean the F-15 is not as capable as other aircraft in DCS. The F-15, as you guys know, is one of the most formidable air-to-air -air platforms in DCS. And it's FC3. So, really good for new guys who enjoy air-to-air. -air. Alright, there we go. We'll hold here check the runway make sure it's clear make sure nobody's coming in to land okay for all the guys who fly on the GS server you should give that a try sometime you know who you are <laughs> okay we're gonna slowly throttle forward and we're gonna take the active runway Okay, and we're going to throttle forward and slowly get the aircraft rolling. There's the throttle. Remember, we have flaps down. We're using a rudder to keep ourselves on the runway. And we're going to get some speed, watching over here for your speed. And you're going to pull back on the stick and she'll just come off the runway for you nice and easy. Press G on your keyboard to bring your gear up. 
and we're going to turn off the navigation lights with the same bind we used to turn them on. See right here we got MiG 23s. So we're just getting some speed. We're going to turn in. Press I to turn on your radar. And just start turning in. Using the radar warning receiver to orient yourself onto the bandits. Uh, tell our wingman to engage bandits. Uh, you can use scan zone to push the elevation of the radar up and down. So if your bandits are high or low, you use the scan zone to find them to put your antenna up or down, looking up or down. And then you're going to use the TDC, Target Designator Control is what it's called. You're going to switch your radar over to TWS. And there's your bandits right there. You can multi-lock by just putting your cursor on top of the bandits. And pressing the lock button. You can see TWS showing me all of those contacts there. Okay, and got him locked. Lock a second bandit, you'll see me right here. Just pressing enter to get the lock. Again, you can bind these to whatever you want. You don't have to press enter, right? Bind it to your HOTAS. So there's two, and I can lock these guys, multiple locks because I'm in TWS, track while scan. Okay, they've launched on me. We're gonna continue forward. I'm 13 miles out at 0 0.9 Mach, Fox 3. Push forward to the next guy, Fox 3, defend. Once you shoot the AMRAM, there's no need to cycle to the next bandit. It will automatically cycle to the next target. You just keep shooting your AMRAM. You can lock up to four targets and it'll just cycle them for you. So you don't have to worry about that. That's one of the things that makes the Eagle so amazing. And we're off cold. Very good. Those two guys should be dying any second now. I see one kill right behind me. Uh, second contact dead right there, so we got two kills so far. We're going to turn around and recommit. Again, using the RWR to uh, orient myself. And there we go, nose on. Using the scan zone to look up and down for bandits. There we go, got this guy. He shot at me too. Nine miles, Fox 3, and we're off cold. Defending. That guy's definitely going to die. And if I can defend in time, I'll survive hopefully here. Oh, there's my wingman. He's not engaging bandits like he should be. Sometimes you gotta tell the AI multiple times to engage bandits. Okay, I think we have killed three of the bandits so far, enemy bandits. We'll turn around and recommit. I think there's still one more guy. And then once we kill him, there's uh, bombers up high in the cons that I'm sure you saw. 
looking for this last guy now. I think I see something over here on the right hand side. I see him. I can visually see him. I can visually see him. I'm going to use a uh, vertical lock mode to pick him up. You can use that for close bandits. Fox 3. You can see it tracking. That's one mile. Splash one. Basically merge with that guy. It's so easy for the eagle. Okay, let's, uh, we're gonna engage these Tupelov 22s up here, the bombers. Use the boar sight, put the circle on them, there's the lock, Fox 3. And another one right here, Fox 3. Okay, those guys are dead. Those guys are gonna die for sure. Splash 1, and splash 2. All right. Good kill. Alright, uh, you heard AWACS called merge there. That was me merging with those bombers, so we're good. There's no one else out here to kill. Okay, things are looking good up here. AWACS is just calling out dead contacts, so no worries there. Alright, additional aircraft have been detected approaching from the northwest, okay. Flight. Engage bandits. Tell him to engage bandits. Okay, we got MiG-29s here, right off the nose. Uh, right here is the fuel quantity, by the way. You can see 11,200 pounds of fuel left. And we're going to continue forward, again using the RWR to locate those MiG-29s. We're turning on the jammer by pressing E. We're going to jam those MiG-29s. You can see this indicator here flashing. That means the ECM is turning on. And when it's on, that'll just stay uh, stable. It won't... Yeah, there you go. See, it's not flashing anymore. So the ECM is now on. And we're going to continue forward. Punch out the radar by just pushing the TDC forward. There we go. Switch over to track while scan. And there we go. We got our two bandits. And again, you can multi-lock by just putting your cursor on top of them, pressing enter. Oh, he acknowledged the call, so he finally understood it. He's going to actually engage bandits for us now. This whole time, he hasn't done anything. I'd love to see what he can do. Fox 3, wow. Oh, this guy's, uh, this guy's shooting amrams already. All right. We're continuing forward, 25 miles to target. Sometimes the AI need a little bit of help, and sometimes they do some pretty cool stuff. So we're going to find out what this guy does. 
Um, as of right now, he's been useless so far, but it looks like he's just popping off Amrams right now, so that's good. He's being locked, and so am I. Okay, let's drop tanks. Continuing forward, he's shooting again, Fox 3. We're 20 miles out. Can you hear this wingman? He's just shooting off Amram after Amram. There, there's another one. All right, they shot at me now. 16 miles, 15 miles, Fox 3 from me, and we're defending. This guy's still shooting Amrams at everybody. I don't know what the plan is for that wingman. Like, he's just handing out Amrams like they're cookies, you know? I'm being locked here. I'm defending. He has a missile out on him, so he's defending now, my wingman. Um, but I'm pretty sure he just sent, like, a whole bunch of Amrams down there. You can see those guys defending. There's a bunch of guys defending over there. And those Amrams that he shot and I shot should be reaching over there. Probably any second now. Uh, okay, he killed something over there. I don't think mine hit anything. Oh wow, there's two guys falling out. I think he got them. Three guys? There's three dead guys here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Those guys just ran into a wall of Amrams, man. That sucks. Um, there's supposed to be another MiG off to my left over here, down there in those mountains. I think five miles over there. But I think my wingman's already on him. He's already running that guy down. Two splash one. He got that guy too. Two rejoined. What happened to this guy? He just went from being useless to absolutely destroying everything. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> this guy just woke up and just annihilated everything. He left nothing for me. I killed the first wave. The wingman killed the second wave. So. Good work to him. I guess he earned his paycheck. There he is up there coming back around after he just slaughtered like two Tupolev 22s and a couple MiG 29s he's just gonna make his way back over here so this is the F-15 guys tremendous amount of fun a lot of air to air action that you can have with this thing um, again use your FC3 code to pick up the F-15 you get a bunch of stuff with it you get the flanker the MiG 29 A-10A it's a lot of fun um, so I highly recommend that uh, once again, keep in mind this mission is available for download. It's a pre-built-in mission with, that comes with FC3. Again, I've spiced it up a little bit. So if you want to play this exact version, you can download it from the video description below. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me and Jason Bourne over here. Uh, we're headed back to base. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.